All right, it may be on your weekend to-do list. It's not on mine, but it may be on yours. Mowing the lawn. The rains really helped the grass grow lately. You know it's on your honeydew list. Come well, on. I can't. I'm busy tomorrow. Oh, yeah, with that flambeau. Got the thing. flambeau parade. All right. That's right. Well, after all this rain, you might be needing a new mower, maybe even giving up your old gas mower. Well, we can help here. 12 on your side's Marilyn Moore it shows us which lawn mowers cut it. It's not your typical vacation photo dump. These are from Consumer Reports' trip to Grassy Green, Florida to test lawnmowers. They mowed for miles to see how evenly they cut and how easy they are to operate. They also checked bagging and mulching. They found battery power technology keeps getting better and cheaper. We're seeing more and more battery powered mowers coming on the market that are at the lower price point but managed to compete in terms of performance with the better ones. For battery mowers, they tested how long you can run them before the battery runs out and charge time. Charge time is an idea of how long it'll take to recharge the battery, whether or not it's something you can turn around within the same day or something you might have to wait overnight for. So which battery mowers cut it? Well, they actually found several to recommend, including some by Ego and Ryobi. This Grainworks self-propelled battery mower got top scores for evenness, mulching, and handling. It's $749. You'll save hundreds with this green machine. Also very good at mulching, but not as good at bagging. If you have a smaller lawn and aren't so concerned with recharge times, they say consider this skill. It was excellent at cutting and mulching. Mulching. Finally, unless you need to bag your clippings, mulching is better for your lawn. The clippings deliver nutrients, meaning you can use less fertilizer and save water too. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.